But today we want to consider the marks of the one who is born of God. And in this passage, there are five, and still by way of introduction, I want to draw these to your attention. Uh, the first is faith in Christ. We, we see at the beginning of verse 1, whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. Now, the second mark is love for the Father. He goes on to say, and whoever loves the Father. And it, in verse 2, he says, we love God. God. In the beginning of verse 3, for this is the love of God, referring to our love for God. So that's the second mark of the new birth, faith in Christ, love for God, and then third, love for the brethren. He, he goes on to say in the middle of verse 2, and whoever loves the Father loves the child born of God. And these are all interconnected together. These are like links in a chain. Uh, all five of these will be present in the life of the one who has been born from above. And then fourth, he keeps the commandments. We, we see that in the middle of, of, or at the end of verse 2, he says, and observe his commandments. And in verse 3, we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. So that becomes the fourth distinguishing mark of the one who is regenerated. And then finally, overcomes the world. Uh, this really reaches a high watermark and a crescendo in verses 4 and 5, that whoever is born of God overcomes the world. So this is a very helpful passage because it gives us the profile of the child of God, and it becomes a means by which we can determine whether our profession of Christ is genuine or not.